Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clash. Today we are going to make a princess out of a golf ball. I'm going to take my Dremel tool and I'm going to drill a hole right into a golf ball. And I'm going to add an eye screw, which is just a little screw with a kind of a loop on there. Put it in there. And this will allow it to hang. I'm going to take a little flesh colored paint and paint the whole thing. And this is going to take probably two coats. To set the stage for our little princess here, we are going to attach the eyes. And they're just little googly eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue. Add it. And suddenly she's coming to life just a little bit. Now I just have a Sharpie pen and I'm going to just give her some eyelashes. And I'm going to take a red Sharpie marker and just give her some lips. So currently she's still bald and bald is beautiful, but let's give her some hair anyway. So I have this doll hair that I've had, I don't even know how long, and I'm just going to add it. I'm going to do it with hot glue, but you could certainly use other glue. I'm just going to cut some ringlets off, and I'm going to add some right by um, the eye screw. Okay, I'm going to take them add them like this I'll do the same on the other side so here's the first row I'm going to repeat the same thing but I'm going to go underneath that first row and add another layer to give it a little bit of fullness. So this is three layers in and you can kind of see her scalp a little bit through there so I'm going to add one anywhere where it seems too pinkish um, to kind of fill out her hair a little bit. Then I'll give her hair a trim because it's all uneven on the bottom, but they're cute bouncy curls. And I believe I got this hair at Hobby, yep, Hobby Lobby. Okay, here she is with her springy bouncy hair. Now we need to make her a crown. Now what you're going to do on a piece of cardstock is you're going to draw a crown. And it's going to be pretty simple. You're just going to do little pointy sections, one taller one and two smaller on each side and then draw a band. You can make that extra long for now. Okay, cut it out. Okay, then you want to cut a slit in the ends. One down that way and one going the other way on the other side, not all the way through, just so that you can put them together and they'll slide into each other and hold together. So I'm going to just put a dab of glue in the middle here on the inside and then I'm going to just put a little glue on each slit on the leftover tabs. Hold it together for a minute. Now we got to decorate it because she doesn't want just a plain white paper crown. To decorate the crown, you can use anything you want. You can use paint, you can use glitter. I'm going to use nail polish, and it's kind of a, a champagne gold. And I'm going to paint the front and the back. I'll probably give it two coats, and you could really go any color that you want. Here's her crown with the nail polish, and now I have five little gems little round gems and I have three 
little flower gems. So my intention is to take these and put them up here in each of the peaks and then put a pink flower and then a purple flower um, on either side. Just to dress it up because crowns need gems and jewels. Again, I'm using hot glue. You do not have to use hot glue. So here's the crown. And now all we have to do is glue it to her head. So I'm going to put a dab in the back, a little dab, and then, oops, and then a dab in the front, a little, really little dab, and then a couple on the sides, just so it can grip onto her head. Now hold it down until it until it dries. And then if you need to, you can add a little glob behind it. So here's our little golf ball princess all finished. She's got her bouncy curly hair. She has a beautiful crown. And she would be fun to have as like an ornament or hanging around at like a, a little girl's birthday party. I hope you like the little princess. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. And while you're here, remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting.